Hi guys, it's Natalie, and tonight I'm going to be coloring this picture of a chameleon that I drew for you. I'll be using Prismacolor colored pencils to do this. The paper that I'm using is Strathmore toned gray paper. This is really nice paper. It helps make the colored pencils pop, especially the whites. I love it a lot. And for you guys that watch my other videos, you'll know that the black pencil that I use is very short, but you'll be happy to know that I bought a new one today. So yay! Okay, I'm going to begin, and I'll start with the eye of the chameleon. And I'm going to start with the black, since the center of its eye right here is very dark. I think that a chameleon would be really cool to color, and that's why I chose it, because it has lots of interesting folds in its skin, and it will be a good way to show you guys the blending capabilities of Prismacolors. The chameleon's eye is very large and it appears to be in this socket and the border of it is very dark so I'm adding black around the edge to make it dark. Just like that. And let me get together my greens because this is going to be a green chameleon. some greens. I'm going to start with this really bright spring green. So right now I'm just adding down a basic coat of green and I'll go in with darker greens and black to shade. I've never really used much of the greens before so this is really exciting so I get to try them out. And I'll also add a little bit of a blue because while it is mostly green there is a touch of blue in this chameleon. So Gabrielle asks what inspired you to draw the chameleon. Uh, I chose to draw the chameleon because I was thinking of animals that I could draw and a chameleon came to mind but I thought it would be really cool to draw because it has also folds in its skin which I think would be fun to illustrate with Prismacolors. Mariana asks, where can I get a big pack of Prismacolor and how much are they? As for the price, that varies, but you can purchase them at craft stores such as Hobby Lobby and Michaels. However, you can get some really good deals on Amazon.
<clears throat> uh, Julia asks, will you be using all the shades of green? I'm going to be using most of the green shades that I have in this box. See, there are, very, there are a lot. Uh, this is because the chameleon has tons of different greens on it. It's a very colorful animal. Oh, I see you guys are asking if I'm using a reference photo. Yes, I am because I don't draw chameleons enough to understand how to shade them. Uh, whenever you draw things, like, don't ever hesitate to use a reference photo because it can be very helpful and like it, it's it's almost essential whenever you're learning how to draw something because like I mean you really need that reference photo and like if, if it wasn't for reference photos I wouldn't know how to shade a chameleon. So I'm just looking at a picture of a chameleon that I found on Google Images. I think it's one of the first ones that go that pop up if you just search chameleon, or you can just search chameleon and look for one in a similar pose, and you guys should be able to find it if you really want to see it. Mariana asks, do you blend the colors together with the same colored pencils or do you have like a special solution for blending? Uh, whenever I blend Prismacolors, I just use the same colors and I run over with it. Like for example, if I put down black or a different green, I would come over with a different green and blend. That's the beauty of Prismacolors is that you can just use the colored pencils themselves to blend. You don't really need anything else, but you can use other things to blend if you'd like. Um, I know some people they use things like rubbing alcohol to blend or things like that. You can also purchase a Prismacolor colorless blender, which is it's in the same shape as a, a regular Prismacolor pencil, but it's it contains this colorless wax that you blend with. I haven't tried those. Uh, I don't know if they're any good, but I'm really comfortable with blending with just the colors. And if I need an extra like, extra smoothness, I guess I'll use a gum eraser like this. Uh, these, whenever you use them over Prismacolor, it seems to blend the colors together and it's really nice. Ashley, I did get a new black and it's right here. It's all long and it's perfect and I don't have to like cover what I'm doing whenever I use it.
Now someone asks, where can I buy this eraser from? Oh, if you're referring to the gum eraser, you can get these at craft stores like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and you can probably buy them on Amazon. They're called gum erasers. They're easy to find. In fact, I think that you can find them at Walmart because it, some Walmarts, they have like an art supplies aisle. It's usually like near the, the greeting cards and party supplies, things like that. At least that's where it is in a few stores that I've been to. But uh, again, they're called gum erasers, G-U-M. And I wouldn't recommend using them for graphite. They're really good for blending colored pencil though. Oh, someone asked, where did I buy the black? I got the black at Hobby Lobby today, and I bought it individually. So you can buy pencils one at a time if you'd like. But you, you can get that at craft stores. Because I don't think Walmart sells them individually, but I do see that a lot of you guys have purchased sets of pencils at Walmart. Jennifer asks, do you do any type of calligraphy? Oh, I really don't do much calligraphy. I mean, the closest to it is like, I'll try to make my notes for my, for school, like really pretty. And I've looked up pictures of calligraphy just to like use some of the ideas, but like, I'm not really good at it myself. I mean, if I take a little, if I spend a lot of time working on lettering, I can do it, but it's not one of my strong points. To create the scaly texture of the chameleon, I'm applying color in small little circles that are tightly packed with each other. Um, I think that scales can be really difficult to draw, however, for this chameleon in particular, it can be really simple because you can just do little dots, but on larger drawings where you will have to shade scales, that can be really difficult and time consuming. But luckily, since this is just like an average size drawing, I can do little dots. Oh, someone said you should do an owl later on. Uh, I can't see the name anymore of whoever said that, but uh, I did draw an owl on this Facebook page on Quirky Mama. You can go to the video section and you can find a link to it. Heather asks, how long have you been drawing for? I've been drawing since middle school. Crystal asks, have you ever used drawing slash coloring pens like the Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liners? I've actually never heard of those pencils. I've heard of the brand before. I know that they make like highlighters and stuff like that. Uh, however, I've never tried those pens. <clears throat> As for like coloring pens, I use Copic markers for a lot of my drawings. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. But I've never heard of that brand. I'll have to look them up later. Have you used them? And are they any good?
Stefan. Stefan asks, what's your favorite color? I'd say my favorite color is a aqua or a turquoise, kind of like this pencil right here. This is a good example of what my favorite color is. color some of the scales I'm alternating between uh, this aquamarine color and this apple green to help create a bluish green color because the chameleon overall I'd say is mostly bluish green there are some areas that are more blue than others and some that are more green so by doing this I can create a color that is a balance between the two and like for example up here it's mostly green and right here it looks more blue A star I started drawing whenever I was in middle school. Uh, Julia, I use white in between to lighten areas that appear white in the image of the chameleon that I'm looking at, such as the lips and wherever it folds right, wherever the, the lips fold right here. Those areas are both very light, so I used white. Uh, Kia, yes, you can find this chameleon from a quick Google search. I think it's one of the first results.
Uh, Julia asks, do you do you only draw? Oh, sorry. Do you usually draw only animals, or do you do any painting in land or landscapes, etc.? Uh, most of my drawings are of people. That's my favorite thing to draw. It's portraits. Uh, I draw animals, but not as often. I've been drawing animals a lot more lately, though. Whenever I do these live streams, I do that because I don't want to give you guys like portraits every single day of the week. I like to mix it up and do some animals and things like that. Uh, but if you want to see the other drawings that I make, check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description of this video. Unfortunately, it looked like the video cut off there, but it appears to be back now. Um, I don't know what's going on there, it just buffered for a moment, and my phone said trying to reconnect. So, that was unfortunate. I kind of stopped and paused there, so you guys didn't miss anything. Uh, Mariana asks, how long does it usually take to finish a, a, a drawing? Uh, this can take anywhere from like an hour to an hour and a half drawings that are like this. Um, however, like paintings and like more detailed drawings, those can take hours upon hours. I know I sketched the back out earlier and it was very really smooth, however, chameleons, they have somewhat spiny backs, so that's why I erased the line here and I'm going to go back with a colored pencil and help draw in the, the spines. Oops, I need to sharpen this pencil. Yeah, if you guys see my hands disappear from the screen, I'm just sharpening a pencil.
Uh, Mary, <coughs> sorry guys, I'm coughing for some reason, but do you use a special pencil sharpener or just a normal one? Uh, this one, it's not anything too special, it's just a metal pencil sharpener. However, I would recommend whenever you guys sharpen Prismacolor pencils, don't use a plastic pencil sharpener that you buy at like, Walmart or Target. The ones that you like usually use just for regular number two pencils. Uh, those usually aren't the best and they can actually eat up your pencils if it keeps breaking and like it doesn't sharpen that well. So I would recommend getting yourself a metal pencil sharpener. However, there is a way that's more efficient to sharpen your pencils that reduces the waste. Uh, you can use a blade like an X-Acto knife to kind of shave off the wood and it will also sharpen the blade. I mean, not sharpen the blade, it will sharpen the tip of your pencil. Uh, however, for the younger viewers out there, I don't recommend doing that because it can be kind of dangerous. So stick to metal sharpeners. But for, you, for all of you who are not children, I would recommend trying the blade method. I'm not doing it for this video just because this is way more convenient and I think it's less time consuming. The body of the chameleon has some of the most profound, uh, I guess, wrinkles and texturing on it. So for this, it's going to take a lot of fine detail. It almost looks like little onion cells. If you guys have seen onion cells up in a microscope or anything like that, it's usually like something that they show you in biology class. But the skin, it looks like it's in these little square cells. That's how it's textured. So I'm going to use black to help do that. I think actually, yeah, I can make lines across and then connect those lines to help create the texture of the chameleon skin.
uh, for large areas of color, sometimes it can be difficult to blend it all together. And uh, whenever you blend colors together, you typically have to use a lot of pressure to do it properly. However, this gummy eraser can be used to blend larger surfaces, and that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, I see some of you guys are asking about the drawing from last night. I haven't had the time to finish that yet because today I was really busy with a few things going on, such as like trips to the store, and I was also at this um, like free summer camp thing at one of the colleges near my house. So maybe tonight or tomorrow I will finish it, and I'll post it on Instagram for you guys to see. Uh, so if you guys want to see that, please follow me on Instagram. The link to that is in the video's description. And just know that you don't have to have an Instagram to view what I post on Instagram. If you click on the link, you can just scroll down and look at all the art that I've made.
I think one of the coolest things So cool how they are able to grip to things. Uh, this chameleon, unfortunately, you can't see too much of its feet, but it's really cool. It's almost like a, like, it's like this. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really neat. Yeah, in this particular picture, the chameleon is perched on just some twig or some stick. Do any of you guys have pet chameleons?
Right now, the details I'm doing, it's all just scales. <clears throat> I think the detailing all the scales is very time intensive, so that's what I'll spend the rest of the video doing. There's about five minutes left. So, again, I'm doing a, a mixture of both like circular little dots to create scales and some of the more profound ones. I'm using black to actually outline like the little like boxes that are created by the texturing of the skin. Uh, someone asks, do you ever sell your pictures? I do, and if you guys are interested, please contact me on Instagram via direct message, and I will get back with you. Uh, 
Sandy, you asked, is this your reference photo? I can't view images on while I'm broadcasting live, but if it's a picture of a chameleon on a stick with a yellowish and kind of green background that's out of focus, then yes. Okay guys, it's 10.30 right now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the chameleon come to life with color. Um, I'll see you guys next week on Monday. I don't know what time yet, but you'll see me on Monday. And if you want to see more of my art or keep up with other things I do, please follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description of the video. Uh, you can contact me about buying artwork or getting a commission done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!